Today we're used to having recorded music wherever and whenever we want it. We can listen to audio on hi-fi systems, audio that's streamed over the internet to mobile phones or other devices, and we can have music downloads on other audio players. We can even have high-quality digital radio as well. And of course, CDs are still very widely used as they provide very faithful reproduction of the sound. CDs were revolutionary when they were introduced, offering very high-quality audio in a relatively small size. Before that, there were the audio cassettes, which offered convenience and they were contained in a compact package. You could record your own cassettes or buy pre-recorded music. Earlier still, there were the 33 RPM vinyl long-playing records and 45s for singles. These were preceded by the lovely old 78s using wind-up record players. They had a certain sound and atmosphere to them. You start to appreciate how far we've actually come when you come across a really old player. It could even be like this Edison phonograph that could have been found in an attic or somewhere else. Edison invented the phonograph in 1877, filing his patent on the 24th of December of that year. But it took him until the 1880s to launch the first machines. These early phonographs used a cylinder instead of a disc, and they initially lasted for only two minutes. So let's hear what one of these Edison phonographs sounds like. The head or reproducer was moved laterally along the recording by a screw thread on the back of the machine. This meant the machine and the recording had to track at the same rate. Later machines, though, had an option for two or four minute plays, the long playing versions being accommodated by reducing the drive speed to the tracking thread by half in the gearing system. These record players were powered by clockwork. There was a large wind up spring and to regulate the speed a governor similar to that used on railway steam engines was used. The sound was not great by today's standards, but seeing them and hearing them now generates a certain magic, even if like this one, they're not in tip-top condition. (laughs) 